over the past five years, I don't lead the program where we be the do for here for help people them when they are sick. We be do information, raising awareness about the various sicknesses them. We be help for consult people them. We be treat them, and we be give medicine for them all free. And over the past five years, we be consult almost close to eight thousand people them. This eight thousand people them will be spending plenty of money. So for that past five years, then, we not be only the treat people them. The one of the most important things we will be the try to do them. And I say we will be the try for look say which health problems them be the biggest problem them what we community the face of and how we feel handle those problems. Them. So for that past five years, then, we see them say the sickness or the disease will be take plenty time. We will put too much time for talk about it be being a diabetes, hypertension, and HIV. We see them say the sickness where people then bring them for we plenty. It be being a diabetes, hypertension, and HIV. We see them say during the screening process, the disease was we chop plenty money, pass all for the process of screening. We be being a diabetes, hypertension, and HIV. And then we also see them say the sickness where people them get them for their skin, where them no know whether they come for something else, but they don't know so they get the sickness. If it be not that, so these three same sickness them diabetes, hypertension, and HIV. So we see them say. After we don't look now, we look everything. We don't see them say, these three sickness them, they chop money for medicine pass all other sickness them. And then when we look, say, if we be remove these three sickness them, then at least even the money where we spend them for the past five years, we will even spend them for even 10 years. And we look and say, if we remove these three sickness them, we see them also say the number of people them or the number of consultation they will do them. If we remove these three signals, them we will feel do them like half of the consultation. Them. So the biggest problem we will see them with the increase for inside the community will be in these three signals. Them this disease them na signals them where they be very expensive and most people where they get them they live with them for the rest of their life. And we see them say. More and more people them they get this sickness them, and uh, even say young people them too they get this sickness them. So imagine a young person at the age of thirty five, just after they marry, them go realize and say the young man he get any of this sickness them. It means say even the money where them for the take them for build house they go take and put them for this. It go start being a hospital money. The money where they are new picking, they will take them for sponsor picking with them. They will start being a hospital money because they will spend money every month, every year, and every day for this sickness. Them. So the problem where if we don't look how we will solve them, it will only help for cripple with community. It will scatter family to them, and it will scatter with community. We don't see them say yes. We don't get enough doctors and nurses them. Yes, we don't get enough hospitals them. But uh, most importantly, we don't even get prevention program for this or any other diseases them. We get sporadic, maybe we you know World AIDS Day, World Diabetes Day, World Heart Day. We'll get some small activities them for mark these days them. But immediately these days them pass. We pack all resources and we keep them we wait for next year again. There is no way where we feel solve with problem with only this kind of sporadic situation. Then. We get for look for new models then, for solve with problems because the old model, the old way for just the look, say, give tablet, bring doctor, give tablet, bring doctor. A situation where we don't feel sustain them. Nothing where we don't feel continue to do them in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years. So we get for look different ways then. For deal with a problem. So 
The thing now we won't begin the way we don't look and for over this five years. Now say we get for look a prevention program where if we run at least for one year, at least for a few months, at least for one quarter. So we get for look, say we get for put prevention at the center of the thing where we want to begin to do. The second thing we want to begin to do, now say we get for look people them way, at least with the prevention people they don't get the sickness. Then the person we don't get the sickness, we get for look and say. How we feel deal with the person so that the team manage the condition well, so that make the condition not deteriorate, so that make the condition make you know get complications. How we feel support the person so that they feel live very well with the disease. So the second aspect we will do, and we will try to make the people that when they get this condition, them make them be for situation where they feel help themselves, make them not only depend for doctors and hospitals. So one look where we at least. We feel do the prevention and we feel provide enough care and support and education and all the necessary support for people where they live for the where they live with the condition. But in addition to this two, then we go also try for see things what we call them advocacy. For raise awareness, for push government, make government take action for these diseases. We will push within a council, we'll push whether we do with parliamentarians, we will push within a ministry people then for see, say, at least make them try. For see how we we feel manage and we feel prevent this condition. Then we we'll go work with every segment, we for all the stakeholders. We will try to be the voice of the community for the ministry because we the same say even them they want to begin to work with the community. They want to know what the community they think. They want to get community involvement, but we will try to be with the community for empower the community and for empower people that want to deal with this sickness so that themselves self, they go take the initiative them they go take ownership of their sickness them and they will be experts for their condition them so now the thing that the approach that we want begin to try for do how we go do that and how we go implement them we believe say if we put four things them four fundamental things them in place then the patient will be empowered it will be able to manage the disease very very well on your own. So we put these four things in place. Good information, that is getting good information, being self-confidence, behavior change, and the technical skills. If person get these four things in place, the person will be able not only for manage your disease and for deal with it successfully, but it will be able for be plus the experience of living with the disease, it will be able for even be an expert in the disease to the extent where it no will only depend on the doctor as somebody where it need help, but it go work with the doctor for manage the disease very well. It go work for even educate the doctors them. It go work for educate the general public. It go work for educate the new people them where they get the disease. Then it go be like a poor edu a peer educator. It go work for educate even the policymakers them, politicians them. You know, it go be like an advocate for the disease. And if he even work for even change the pharmaceutical industry, because he go know what he be said, he go know how the medicine they work, because he be like a consumer. So we believe, say, with these four things in place, not be one only, we we'll put them, mix them together, do them in a way where they go match, they go fit particular individuals. With things, say, with all of that in place, the person will be empowered and the person will be able not just for manage the disease, but for help with community for beat the disease. And the four things in the same thing, make the patient get good enough and simplified information about your sickness and how the sickness they affect you and how the information where they get them to help you. Then the person, it will be empowered and the person, it will even be motivated for do the things them where they go help you. And not only for start for the duam, but for even for continue for the do the things them. We will look for CM say this or say, at least make them get enough information for prevent the, the, this thing them, make them not deteriorate, make them know enough about their treatment and even know how to administer their treatment, make them be able to communicate with their doctors in the way where. The doctors and fee even learn from them. In essence, we want for say person where they live with any of this condition, them 
make yourself and make it be the expert for the disease. Because uh, this one, the disease where either they go live with them for a very long time or they go live with them for the rest of their life. And uh, for things, say, a 35 year old or a 40 year old or even a 50 year old person, when he get a condition, it go depend mainly on doctors or nurses for the rest of their life. We think say that won't be a big burden. The second thing I said, we believe say if the person gets self-confidence, self-esteem, or even what we call them say self-efficacy, if the person get that, we go get them through education, through one-on-one -on -one education, through group education, through training programs. Eh? If person get that self-confidence, we go be assisted by the information we get them for point number one, then at least the person will be able to manage the condition. And the third thing I say, if person fit change the behavior, if person get the ability, if he get the assistance, if he get the means them for change the behavior, for change the thing where they chop, for change the things where they drink, for change the activities, for change the manner for deal with anger, for deal with stress, if he get the skills them for change that behavior, then at least it will also help for. For, for, for empower you. And the uh, fourth thing that say, we believe say, a person get what you call them, say, technical skills them. That one that skills them for do things them like for take your blood pressure, things them for do things them like for check your blood sugar, things them like for do like for inject, inject your insulin, or things them for do, you know, like for even interpret the HIV test result. If person get that technical skills them, then at least it will be able to manage the disease. So we will be there for help the people them for step by step, for manage the things them, for put them in a small, small, small manner them, for motivate them, for way where them feel begin to learn these things them, and for ways them where them feel begin to implement some of these things them. So now for the way we look say we will come in for help people them, for whether na counseling, whether na motivation, whether na education, where they need them, whether na support, whether na for 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 monitor or for supervise, we go help them with these things. Then. We don't say I'm say for things that like HIV and diabetes and even the hypertension. One of the biggest problem where we get them for we community. I say when they talk to me, person begin to take the medicine immediately take them away. They sick. Time we don't start begin to feel better. It is stop the medicine. It would be difficult for a person to call doctor or call nurse to talk for them say, that means this so it worry me and I go stop up. But we think, say, if we there for inside community, it will be easy for a person to tell we say, I will take this medicine so, now the kind of worry is that this woman I get them. If they so, I think, say, me, I go stop up. Then we and them go shut down down. We go look for say, I'm say, this thing they so where they happen, so how we feel handle them, how we feel deal with them. Even if you want some of the medicine, we go help you or go work with you and your doctor for see the other option the more you feel go into. So one a situation where we go be able to say, when doctor don't talk for person, we go follow up with the person. We go take enough time where doctor no get them for explain for you how the medicine they work. And we go set target them with ye for even look and say, okay, as this time they go, what do you expect? If they be do your test and the test is true, so, do this thing them for after one month, maybe we see how they will change. In after three months, what do we expect for Siam? We want to say, me, you do this, do this, and do this, and do this, and then we go see the changes in where they go happen, and the changes in this way we expect they go happen. So that the patient will be involved for the treatment, and the patient will know what for the expect. So that if there is any problem, we will work with you. We won't be more like a voice and in between, between the doctor and the, and the patient. So for empower the patient, for give you the power, for give you the knowledge and for give you the skills them, where they feel help for deal with their condition. Them. So now you don't hear what we want to do. Um. You don't see the thing we want to do and how we want to do um, and the impact of we think say thing will do. Um. So not just talk say this or say good job. Look and say, how you feel assist on this thing. We believe so much on the fact, say, 
We want to do it ourselves for ourselves. 